It certainly has to. Thank you for that super chat, bro. Uh, KJ, what are you saying, bro? Yo, yo, yo. Um, surprising move from Liverpool. I was not expecting uh, this guy. Literally, when they, when he got announced, I thought he was a kid. Um, Fabrizio used some young-ass image of him, and I thought he was a kid. Then I looked him up and I was like, oh, man, the man's 30 years old. But you know what? They need they need that. They need, they've lost Fabinho. They've lost Henderson. Uh, they needed, we've already said they needed older, an older player just to help stop the gap the move. And not, was it £16 million? Pounds? Probably on some of the, probably the lowest wages in the team. Um, he's not going to say no for not playing if he ends up not playing, like for like mm. after a year or so. It, it, I think it's a decent deal. It's a decent deal. No, no one's going to expect much from him. He's not here to become the next big thing. He's here just to fill a gap. And I said before that Liverpool may need to look into doing that. So I can't now come and, uh, come and blast them for doing so, you know. Like we've done mm. it with with strikers over the years, um, and Liverpool just need to do this for for a season. When when next season comes, they'll hopefully invest into a bigger midfielder, and he goes on the bench and he just stays there until his contract runs out. Like like it's not that big of a deal in my in, in my opinion, and that also gives them enough money to go get another midfielder, whether that be Amrabat, whether that be a player that hasn't been highlighted yet. Overall, I think this is actually not a bad deal for Liverpool. This it just looks bad to the fans because you guys were bidding 60 million 110 million mm. and now you bought a guy for 16 million it, it, it doesn't look right but overall that's what it is I think it's but that's right. what it is kj it's just like when we're looking at it it's like in my opinion what i think's happened is that this deal's happening in the background right as we're trying to go and complete this kind of marquee dm signing because fabinho and henderson have left and this deal's carried on going ahead in the background and we're none the wiser because no one knows who he is we don't know, do you know what I mean? That like Liverpool are interested in this 30-year-old. No, no one, like no one could have guessed this. And obviously, the Caicedo thing hasn't worked. And if it did work, it would have been Caicedo and Endo. If Lavia had come through the door, it would have been Lavia now that we would have had here we go from, as we've seen with Chelsea and Endo. But as a result, it's just Endo now. And on paper, right now, as it stands, it just looks as though Liverpool got rejected for Lavia and Caicedo, and they just went and got Endo which just sounds like a mad, like it's just, it's, it's a crazy kind of bit of business. But we have to wait and to see what Liverpool do next. And as I'm saying, if it's like an Amrabat and a defender or an Amrabat or someone else, maybe even a Decore, mm -hmm. then we're talking, then we're talking. So we have to just wait and see. We have to wait and see. Yeah, no, I, I, I hear you. And listen, I, I, again, I'm not going to judge this player until I've seen him play because I think that's that's crazy. I get the the feeling of it being underwhelming. If he was 21, 22, I think there'd be a bit more excitement because, oh, we've unearthed somebody that nobody knows. But um, listen, I, I'm not going to go at Liverpool either because I'm worried about upsetting the football gods and then taking uh, my Amrabat away from us. I really do. Uh, th this here from Car uh, Karen, she says, uh, and guess and Gisa, uh, more skillful, very good at defending, engine in the middle, who, who care, who can, re sorry, who care, rejected, he's proven at Napoli. Uh, better than one season wonder kids. Yeah. Uh, the, the, you're... So go on. She's saying, cause she, I think she's saying like, um, even though he's been a, he's seen as a, a PL reject. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I get that. I mean, again, he's not a player that's sort of on my list of players to kind of go after, if that makes sense. Someone that I want my club looking at, but I don't think he's a bad football player. Uh, what about uh, Sangari from PSV? So everyone again, that's a player that three years ago, two or three years ago, he was the name on every hipster's lip. I haven't who was the other one that everyone loved? He's, he went Leicester. Um, oh, um, Samar, um was it Samari? I know you're on a Samari, 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 or Samari, Liverpool. Links that, as well, that's yeah. the one thing about a lot of these young talented midfielders is so many. I would probably say out of every 10 that get hyped up as being the next big thing. One makes it. So I, I do understand maybe saying, let's go for someone that's actually been delivering at the highest level, playing in the Bundesliga, experienced, as well as trying to find someone that's a little bit better. Maybe that's the the the, the, the kind of thinking there. Uh, this is why are players rejecting Liverpool? I don't get it. I'll let JJ answer that. Are they rejecting Liverpool or has it just been Caicedo that decided to go to Liverpool and Liverpool met Slavia about? That's what I would say. That's what I would say. I think it's so funny. Like I was, I was thinking about it, like today as well. 
because it's there's such a gaping hole in Liverpool's midfield, any player that's linked, right, is hyped up and everyone's looking at it. But people again forget like that. Do you know what I mean United were we were linked? Do you know what I mean back in January or even earlier in the window we were linked with Amrabat, Manu Kone, Kefren Turam. We don't know what those conversations were had. Maybe we were rejected. Maybe they said they didn't want to come. We're not, we're not sure. But because we had midfielders there, it wasn't as big of a pressing issue. It's just that Liverpool are looking to strengthen in their midfield. Now we need a body. So everyone's going to be alert to any player that we're linked with, any midfielder that we're linked with. But, you know, like Liverpool were linked with Samare last season before he went to Leicester. They were linked with Amrabat in January. We were linked with this player, that player. It's just, it's just one of those things, man. It's just one of those things. Yeah, I, I hear you. So go on, KJ. It's clearly like I think this football director decision as well is is kind of affecting the the, the shape of Liverpool's season because before that no one's really heard of him. Before that, I didn't even realize he was the new sporting director at um, at Liverpool, and some of the players they've been looking at it hasn't been. I don't know. Maybe the maybe whatever he's saying to them. Is not really resonating with the players, so I think it's more than just. I don't think it's Liverpool have got no pull anymore. It's over. They're finished. It's. I think it's just one of those ones where there's a there's an uncertainty about Liverpool right now, and they're just trying to get get players who are on board with the with the with the cause. Um, but I don't think I don't yeah. think it'll last too long. I, I hear you on that. We have a comment here from uh, Ginge ninety six, who says uh, Graven Birch ain't joining Man United. They have to sell to buy Amrabat, and he's the priority. Uh, so many players United will have to sell to get him in. I understand. Yeah, Man United, will, if we get rid of the two play- midfielders are trying to sell, then we're going to look to buy two more. So I, I understand that. I've also heard a lot of people say, well, when does he play? I, I don't care. I want a, I want an embarrassment of riches. Uh, I keep hearing people say this, yeah, but when, what, what happens to Mount? Well, Mount will have to prove himself, won't he? Like, I don't believe my manager, and listen, whether people like the decision of... Mason Greenwood coming back or not, totally respect your opinion. If you don't think he should be there, if if Greenwood comes back and gets firing, Ten Hag will drop Anthony. If we're just talking purely on a footballing basis, he'll do it. My manager is ruthless enough to do that. Mount come in for fifty five million pounds, but if we do sign other players and they perform better than him and he doesn't start to deliver, he'll sit on the bench. That is that is what top managers do. Being Forced into having to play, oh, got to play him because he costs 80 million, got to play him because he costs 50. That's why Pep Guardiola has been successful. Otherwise, he would have stuck with some of his original big signings and not moved and bought better people in. Now, some clubs are hindered by it because the owners go, we're not, we're not giving you any more money, right? Some pit managers can be too loyal. So, yeah, for me personally, we're looking to sell. If we don't sell McTominay and Donny, we won't get both. But if we do sell them, we will look to sign both of them. And what an upgrade that is. Amrabat and, and Graven Birch for Donny van der Beek and McTominay. For me, that's a colossal upgrade and I hope that it happens. But I hear, I hear where you're coming from. Uh, Samuel's here with us, obviously a, a Liverpool fan. Um, what's your thoughts, Samuel, on uh, Endo? Endo? Endo the rainbow? Do you know what? Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> this club has taken a life out of me, man. But <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it is? I've 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 sat back when I first heard the news. I was thinking, who the hell is this guy? Never watched him, never heard of him. Thinking, what is going on? Sat back, thought a bit, um, calmed down because my head was hot, and I said to myself, "All right, if we get somebody like a Decore, like a Paulino, like a Amrabat, this kind of makes sense. Especially if we get somebody like an Amrabat or Decore." Only because the African Cup of Nations is in January. And if, um, obviously, they're, um, both of them are African. So if they go, obviously, he can fill in as well. Also for squad depth as well. Apparently, um, he's, 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 they're saying he can be used as a utility guy. He can play CDM. He can play right back. He can play centre back. I actually put up the stats of um, how many, the positions that he's played and how many games he's played in. And he's actually played quite a few um, games at centre back and right back. Mm-hmm. So, in a sense, I'm not I'm not gonna gas it and say <laughs> endoinio or anything like that. But <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But it's it's, it's kind of like the, the what I'm feeling from the fan base is that it's it's, very, it's it's a lot of disappointment. But you you can't blame the actual player. It was it's because the way the club has handled this transfer window at such an abysmal level. 
Endo coming in, it's kind of like, oh, for goodness sake. But really and truly, if we got Endo in, like, beginning of the transfer window, when we got Sabozlai, when we got McAllister, and then we get Endo, we, we would have said, you know what? It's actually all right, you know, if we mm. get somebody yeah, else. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you, if you so, had yeah. someone like him in, yeah, it, it's all going to depend. It's like, it's like I said about Mason Mount at the beginning of the window. That's why I've kept my powder dry. I didn't mind him as a midfield sign-in if we bought other midfielders. So if we end up with Gravenberch and or Amrabat and you've had Mason Mount added, I'm really, I'm happy with that as, a, as, as, as our overall purchases. If our only midfielder we buy this summer is Mount, we're not progressing this year because the midfield hasn't improved enough for us to go to another level. So I, I totally like get totally get where you're coming from i thought say george i know you put a few comments in if you dm me on twitter i'll send you the link for the legends and super fan uh whatsapp group as i know you've signed up there just dm me and i'll send you the link to it or one of the other legends and member fans you might already follow them they can send it to you because they're in the group so they can do it yeah one thing i'll say i bet my man can't flip and believe it (laughs) like he probably was going into the season thinking oh yeah Go and play for Stuttgart one more year, two more years, however long I'll be here. Then I'll go to the next club. He must have been, when he heard Liverpool come from his agent's mouth, he probably spat out his drink, slapped himself to try and wake up. He can't <laughs> believe it. This is like the biggest yeah. move of his ever. No, 100%. He's, apparently, he's like the captain for Stuttgart. So as yeah. As, yeah, yeah, when yeah. he heard it, he was like, oh, yeah, no, nope, I'm leaving this club. The, the, only, the only thing I would say, though, is that obviously and I said it before in the stream, that's obviously Stuttgart is a team that Klopp watches very, 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 very closely. And if you guys have clocked, anytime there's a player at Stuttgart, Liverpool are always linked. We saw it with Klab and Mossain from Stuttgart. There's been other players that we've been linked with that have been at Stuttgart. I think um, uh, Sosa as well, the left-back's been linked with Liverpool. He's at Stuttgart as well. I think Klopp, this was, Klopp wanted this player for a long time and I think he just said, you know, I'll just get it done now. And do you know what I mean? I think that the, the biggest worry for me though, it's not even a worry, is that the guy's contract runs out in less than a year because it expires in June next year and we're buying him for 19 million. I think we're being shafted a bit, 90 million euros. I think we are being shafted a bit. Oh, no, no, I, I 100% agree. Um, I, I believe we overpaid, but it's got to a point now where we've shown our hand, we've shown our butt cheeks, and now we're going to have to pay um, overpay for um, the guys that we want, to be fair, because apparently his market value is like six million or something like half. that. Yeah, six and a half, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. 